Hey guys, Vigoman here, and welcome back to another episode from Manor Lords, where we uh, previously built this small settlement for our people here, and we survived the first year, which was awesome. I'm really glad to be back here, and I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed the previous video. Hope that you will enjoy this episode here as well, where we will take this village here to the next level. But before we get anything done, uh, I asked you for naming suggestions in the previous video, and you guys delivered. So what I'm going to do is rename this town here from Shuaiao, which is unpronounceable to me. Uh, and we can call it something new. And I really like one name you guys gave, and that was Ashridge. Ashridge. That I can say. So now this uh, village here is called Asridge and I really really like it. So thank you whoever came up with that naming idea. I really appreciate it. Let's pause the game here. Uh, since the previous video I've been doing just a tiny bit of work. Just like a wee bit. Um, just because I couldn't stop myself from playing. I'm really enjoying this game. So uh, what I've done is I've added two more fields here uh, just to start to get some more farming done. And also while I did that, the population grew quite a little bit. So uh, we have eight families now. We have a lot of uh, people here and all our houses are, um, are uh, yeah, um, occupied. So the first thing we have to do today is actually to build some more houses, which will be really cool. Uh, I also intend to build uh, a tavern. I think that's going to be nice for the people here. Uh, and also just uh, in general expound on farms and everything and just take the town uh, to the next level and hopefully we can reach uh, the next uh, development point which is uh, for medium village and we need to have two burgage plots at level two or higher so maybe that's something we will aim for today as well but let's get started by building a couple more houses so I'm thinking we could definitely have some houses here I think that should be doable. Let's actually just play the game. I think we should be able to... Can we just take it like that? Over there, over there, and like that. Um, there we, we can add one house there. That's not ideal. There we can add... Uh, no, I don't like that. One house there. Is that enough? I, I, I really don't like that. Uh, let, let me try different setup here. Um, if I do like that, no, there we go. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Or maybe, nope, nope, nope. Now, let's do it like that. One more house there uh, for more people. Uh, the approval rate has gone up a little bit as well, which is really cool, meaning uh, more people are coming into town, which is great. Uh, another thing I want to experiment a little bit with today is uh, I figured that we can do stuff with these houses here. So I think what I want to do is uh, to make one of these maybe like have a vegetable garden. Uh, I think I, I, I have no clue how this works guys so just bear with me here. But let's try and upgrade this to a vegetable garden. That cost us... 15 um, of these uh, But yeah, so now this uh, person here this family here produces vegetables uh, Which will be a nice food addition because if you remember from the last episode We kind of ran that whole carnivore diet thing where we lived basically on meat and berries, but now uh, We only have berries, so we need to maybe Why aren't you hunting? Okay, so we hunted them all down um, so yeah, food is definitely something we need to keep on developing. So more fields is uh, very important here. So uh, yeah, this one here is for wheat and I think this one should be for, is for flax. Which is cool. And then this one here is almost ready to be harvested as well. Now, uh, we still need to add a couple more houses here. Uh, so I think we'll do that. We don't have a lot of timber. I wonder why. Can we add another family there? Yep. Okay, so let's do that. And then uh, what I want to have is... Let me see here. Construction. Can we have... 
let's try like like that and then I want to rotate it so they face the road like this I, I cannot why not it's too expensive I don't always understand why I'm limited <laughs> oh no it's probably because of this one let's move that um, let's move that to down here for now um, so we'll have to wait for that to be moved, which will happen pretty soon, and then we can add here. But what I also want to do, um, which I talked about, is a tavern. Uh, I think that would be really fitting here. As I mentioned, I, I kind of want this triangle here to be like the town center. We have the church here, and if we have a tavern here, and then some houses we can l later on upgrade. Uh, I think that would look really cool. So... Um, I want to build that here, but I'm not sure if I should prioritize that over houses. No, let's add that here um, for now. And the people who start working, as we have a lot of families that are able to work, I think. Not everyone is um, working. So that's great. Now let's speed up a little bit and just see uh, how stuff progresses uh, for these houses here. or. But looks of it, there's no one really working. Everyone is busy. Is busy with other stuff. Or no? No. We're moving stuff over here. Okay, cool. Cool. And then some people have started working on this tavern as well. So, stuff is really happening. Which is cool. So let's uh, wait a little bit for all this to grow. And there we have another house. Another burgage plot. Uh, and the tavern has been built as well. So hopefully someone moves in here quite soon. Uh, there's no one there at the moment. But uh, I'm pretty sure some of these families will move in. Uh, by the looks of it, uh, the approval has gone up even further. And I believe we're now at the rate where we will have uh, quite a lot more growth. Which is great. Now, uh, how many families don't have homes at the moment? High population growth. Uh, can I see that? I think we have enough already. I think we have enough houses. How many? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine houses. And we have eight families. That should be enough. If my math is correct. So let's not focus too much on building another house. But let's see if we can upgrade one of these uh, to level two. Is that possible? Uh, upgrade it requires requirements not met okay why not um generate one okay and like session including artisan why can i not upgrade this i'm not sure um is it timber no i have enough timber maybe it's the money it's probably too expensive i don't know <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can figure that out later. Um, for now, uh, we also harvested the field, so we have wheat, which is great. Uh, so we have enough of that, and they have... Um, have they done stuff to it? No, I don't know where all the wheat went. We had a little bit of wheat a while ago. Um, I'm not sure where that went. Probably in the farmhouse here. Grain. We have some grain here. Can we make bread out of that though? I'm not sure. Is that something we have to build as well? Um, we need a windmill. We need a windmill. Maybe that would be fitting in the middle here. It needs a lot of space. Um, no, let's make sure now that we don't build on fertile land. No, so let's definitely not put the windmill there. Um, let's put it alongside this road here somewhere. So we can get some grain. Let's put it there. That's nice. Um... Yeah, so one of the things I'm going to do next time we level up uh, the, the village or yeah, settlement score thing is the heavy plow. I regret not doing that in the first time, 
uh, it was kind of a stupid idea to put or make the apple orchard because it takes three years for that look at this if I put apple orchard I, I'm not rich enough either but it takes three years uh, for the farm to be eff effective so yeah we should probably have uh, used all that on the heavy plow so we could get some more efficient farmland but yeah you live and you learn I guess uh, okay uh, can we add one more people here for the farming to make that go faster and I think I'm gonna add um, a pasture we don't have livestock so we need to add a trading spot for that uh, but let me just do another field here thinking maybe like that uh, I cannot build again I don't always understand these requirements that I'm for some reason not able to meet what's up with that is it too big no um, yeah, I don't understand. Okay, let me just do another. This one I can build. Uh, and this can be. Let's make that barley so we have uh, some beer we can serve at the tavern whenever. Uh, we need to add a person there as well. That's important for the approval of our people. Uh, and then again, uh, more houses. Uh, yeah, all our plots are uh, occupied, so let's get two more houses. Do we have enough? Yeah, we have a little bit of timber. Uh, let's build some houses here. And again, uh, actually, let's uh, do it like that and then make it bigger in the back so they have, all of them have a little bit of a backyard. Perfect. That's going to be cool. So let's wait for that to build up and then all our people will have a home, which is very important. Winter is upon us and we can see everyone working their hardest to stay alive this season here. Uh, but by the looks of it, we have plenty of resources, so uh, this will not be a big problem. Let's actually uh, tune that down a little bit. We don't need all the people collecting firewood. Um, they have a lot of that and a lot of food as well, but again mostly berries So I've increased the priority of building the windmill here so we can get some more people doing that Which is awesome and look at that. It's covered in snow It looks so cozy when we have all this snow here now. Let's look at the windmill just being built here That looks so awesome again the attention to detail uh, In this game is stunning uh, It's uh, it's great um, let's add one family to this and I guess um, Okay, so everyone is now working. That's a big problem. I have is that I'm always <laughs> employing everyone uh, too quick uh, Can we assign some families? I don't know There's someone working here. They're happy with that. I think but Let's assign some farmers. They don't work now. It's snowy <laughs> so uh, they can continue working and now we're turning all this into flour which is awesome uh, does that mean we can make bread or do we need a bakery for that I'm not sure how that really works um, let's go through this is bakery something we need industry weaver shop tannery malt house um, play furnace no dyer shop I don't think so farming Communal oven. Okay, we need a communal oven. Uh, that's quite small. Oh, if that could fit there. It can. It can. Let's put that there. Perfect. Uh, squeeze that in next to the tavern here and next to the farmhouse. Uh, great. And, and that will mean uh, we'll at least have a little bit of bread for our people to get some carbs. Because, yeah, again, we're, we're eating berries mostly and that's not... Uh, ideal for the long run uh, so now that we are in the winter we need to make sure that the next coming season we really prioritize getting these farms up and running uh, I think that's uh, probably the most important thing to survive or at least to kind of get our settlement um, to the next level um, oh look at this the houses are popping up as well 
now we have more than enough we have 33 people 11 families that's uh, great uh, low population growth yeah but we're growing that's the most important part so now uh, stuff is really happening all over the place it's such a busy village Look at that, more the market stalls are coming up as well. Look at these are pretty funny <laughs> uh, in, in fast motion. They're selling meat and firewood and he's transporting some floating stuff. That's kind of cool. I need some of that in my life. Uh, but yeah, uh, the town is really blooming and uh, it seems like most of the people are happy as well since we have 75 approval. So uh yeah stuff is really going well for ash ridge one thing we also have to do in today's video is to build me my manor i need a manor lord Vigo de bearded has to have a manor so uh, i think i figured it out so we can actually uh, build it now uh, so uh how do i rotate there we go so let's build it like Actually, uh, I think I want to... So my idea was to have it here, because there's a little bit of a hill here. So I kind of look over the road here. I think that would be kind of cool. And then have a small road leading up to my manor. I think I'm going to do that. Let's, uh, let's put my manor over here. Awesome. Okay, so we can add modules to it. That's kind of cool. That's what I'm digging, you know, building castles and stuff. Um, welcome to the castle planner. This is a work in progress feature. Okay, uh, let's just do that. Close. Now, uh, we need to add a road to this place. So maybe we can connect it to there. But also, I'm thinking to connect it up to here. Like that. So now let's just wait for the manor to be built as well, uh, which is going to be cool. And, and when we have that, I think we'll unlock a couple more features. Again, I have no clue how any of this work, uh, but I believe we can collect taxes and stuff, uh, which will help uh, grow uh, the regional wealth, because currently it's not growing at all. So we should probably uh, make sure that we can grow that a little bit. <laughs> there they go with all the materials needed to be building my manor. And it looks like everyone is on duty to build me my manor, which is cool. And uh, they've already laid a little bit of a foundation here. So this is awesome. And uh, let's see if we can, uh, whoops. Can we get out of this? Yes. And then get some fast motion up in here. And this is gonna look so cool once we get uh, the manor up here on the hill. And yeah. Now, I've also gone ahead and added a couple more house uh, plots here uh, for two houses just because uh, But it looks a bit like we Have almost all the houses occupied. Yeah, we do have so just having a couple more houses uh, Spare would be great for whenever new people move in here. We already have a house for them. So Yeah, oh look at that Oh, it's growing This is really homey I like that a lot. Should probably remove the, the trees around here before building it, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I can live with that. While we wait for the manor to be built, uh, it's already March and we gotta build some more uh, fields here for, uh, again, uh, farming. So I'm gonna do one quite big field like that over here. And we're gonna make that into a wheat again, I think. Which is gonna be fine. And probably employ two families to there, just so we ensure that uh, farming uh, is top priority. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, and these have, there we I think we planted them last season, and flax. Okay, uh, another thing we have to do is to set up some trading posts. Uh, first of all, so we can start trading with other uh, regions uh, and with um, merchants traveling. But we also need that to trade for uh, livestock. And it would be kind of cool to have some 
uh, animals running around here as well. Um, so and sheep is definitely something we need. So uh, let's uh, let's do that. Let's see if we can add um, trading is here. Probably, I'm not sure what is uh, most important here. Um, I'm feeling that we can kind of get most of the stuff we need ourselves. So let's build a livestock trading post. Um, where should we build that? Um, build it down here. I feel like it should be like along the road here because they kind of bring and there's stuff over here. Put it here? No. Now let's put it here next to the tavern, next to all the farms. I think that, yeah, that should be fine, I think. Now let's see, has the manor been completed? Not yet, I think. Not yet, or is it? No, it's under construction, isn't it? Under construction, yeah. So that will eventually be built. But yeah, spring is upon us now. We can really see all the snow melting, which is great. And how are we on? We don't need more firewood, that's for sure. Let's uh, unemploy you and <laughs> make use of you somewhere else. Because we have so much of that. Uh, and then food. We have some vegetables coming in from the upgrade we did uh, in the beginning of the video. Uh, and we have a little bit of... Um, materials but food is the most important part yeah okay so we're doing quite well uh, I don't uh, think we will uh, die uh, rather soon so that's great and approval and stuff is going well as it's going good as well so people are moving in uh, yeah so now that we have more people unemployed I think these houses here will start growing as well, or be built as well yeah look at that so uh, we'll have some more houses for people to come by i just realized that there is a visitor mode in this game and i can come here as the lord himself and visit uh ashridge this is so cool look at this walking up the streets here this is actually one of the best features of the game, I think. Being able to go into such a close-up and then just look at the details of the people. Hello. I kind of wanted them to stop and, and bow for me. I'm kind of their lord. I'm giving their uh, roof over their head. I'm making sure they have enough food, but they just kind of ignore me. Hello. Well, but this is great. This is such a cool feature. Whoa, it's a little glitchy. Um, I was warned that it might be glitchy. So let's go out of that. But that is really, really cool. My manor is done. And it also kind of just looks like a very cozy cottage. Because it's so uh, densely covered with trees. But it is rather cute. I really like it. Oh, one more person members here. Joined me in the manor. Who joined me? Uh, oh, they're servants. They're here to serve me. Ah. I guess I don't mind, uh, but I realize we have a taxes tab here, so we can set up taxes uh, predicted. So can we? Yeah, so they don't like that I turn off the taxes, but can I just have it really low? No. So if we have 10% tax, they don't like that. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, should we just l try that? We need more money uh, to keep on upgrading. Let's do that, let's try for a little bit at least. Um, that's okay. Um, yeah, people enjoying the tavern, yeah, it looks like it. And then these two houses also popped up and the fields are being worked. That's great. Now, again, I uh, need to figure out how I can upgrade these. And I think... Uh, I think... Uh, I'm not sure wh why. Uh, why I cannot... Uh, upgrade. 
I need to figure that out. Is that requirements? I need to figure this out because we need to start upgrading some if we want to bring the village to the next development level. I think I figured out why we cannot upgrade here and that is because these down here are requirements uh, and we are um, required to have like some clothing stall supply. So we need to have linen, leather, yarn and stuff like that in our market area. So we need to build that before we can upgrade. So I decided to build a tannery over here, which will take the hides we get from uh, the hunting over here, which we have a lot of, 41. Uh, 40, yeah, 41. So we can turn that into leather and that can be used for clothing. Uh, but also I think we need to do, uh, we should create like um, farming, that's here, uh, a sheep farm. Uh, so we can get some, uh, let's put that, can I put that between here? No. Oh, that would be so cool. Okay, let's put that next to here, um, which will give us wool, I think, right? Uh, workers like wool, yeah. So that would be really cool. So we can get some uh, wool as well and create some more clothing and hopefully that will be uh, enough to upgrade some of these houses here to uh, tier 2. Uh, first of all, that's going to look awesome, having some bigger houses here. But it will bring us to village development level, uh, medium village I think it's called. So that we can uh, get the heavy plow which will uh, drastically improve our farming. I was right guys, we now have a clothing stall because of the tannery here making leather and we unlocked the upgrade. So I really want to do this. So let's, can we just click? There we go. Upgraded, do they have to build something? Yeah, under construction, so they're gonna be upgrading uh, the house there. Looking forward to see how that well will go. Um, I've also moved over the um, logging camp over to here so they can start cutting up some of the wood that is uh, completely <laughs> covering my manor here, even though it is really cute when we have this little cottage in the woods, uh, but it kind of ruins my view. I, I kind of, I want to be able to sit here. Where is my house? It's somewhere here. <laughs> and look over the land that I own, I guess. Here we have a really nice river and this is where I should have built the town on top of this. Well, anyway. Um, so uh, stuff is going good. I actually reduced the taxation because uh, I misunderstood that uh, because this is the wealth of my people and I just kept taking that away so they got poorer and poorer and I got a little rich. Uh, I don't know. So um, I, I just reduced the taxation for now uh, and hopefully the people will get a little bit more happy and we might turn that up. Uh, in a little bit because we might need it for stuff but yeah so I, I'm not sure how we will increase regional wealth too much um, probably by just playing the game we will increase it but I'll have to look into that so yeah that's really cool uh, and the town is really going well now uh, where is um, the sheep stuff here it's also done sheep farm so let add pasture space oh, yeah so we need to add that as well how does that work pasture let's add that uh, to the in the back here then why can i not Ugh. this is it's really frustrating because i don't always understand why stuff is as it is. We'll do that. Yeah, pasture space. Uh, and we don't have any uh, lambs or sheep, so we have to probably trade that. So I'm not sure how that works, but trade livestock. Can we, can we buy that? Sheep, no trade, import. Can we import price? Uh, 
I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Let, let's just see what happens. <laughs> see if we will eventually get some sheeps here. Um, but yeah, how's the construction going? Under construction, it's going quite slow. Is everyone busy doing stuff? I think we might be. Uh, and we have so much stone. We can unemploy you. You're working too fast. We need you somewhere else. Um, okay, cool. Uh, so that means at least one family is uh, ready to be working on this. I've also added uh, five more houses here. Uh, because, yeah, we need that. So uh, now we have these two in the back here and then three. And what I decided to do here was to build the plot so small that they don't have any backyards, really. Uh, so they're more like an urban kind of vibe. Um, yeah, compared to these, which have a very large backyard, these are more uh, clustered. And I think uh, going forward for building like a more densely populated look, I think that's something I'm going to maintain. Uh, but of course, I really like the look of having these open backyards for these. So... Uh, we'll try to balance it a little bit. Now this uh, Burgage plot is uh, level 2 and the houses doesn't look too different, but it looks rather cool. So let's upgrade this next one here as well. Uh, and that will, uh, as far as I understand, once that is done, we will have completed uh, two Burgage plots level 2 or higher. So... Um, that should take us to level 2 and we can upgrade to get the heavy plow and hopefully that will make uh, it a lot easier for us. Um, we have bought sheep? Yeah, we have bought some sheep. We have bought one sheep. Um, cool, uh, but we're completely out of money. So that's not ideal. So I think what we have to do... Well, let's uh, unemploy you. We, we should have a trading post for... Uh, just we can sell stuff that we have too much of this is really complicated guys um, yeah hey, look at that new settlement development oh look at that house that's a little bit more fancy than the previous one let's slow down the pace a little bit here um, so definitely yeah using that on the heavy plow great Cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I need to solve this because we're too poor and I don't see us being able to uh, buy stuff. Let's downgrade that. Current surplus. Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how all this works, but we have one sheep here. So, if we uh, add one person here, they will be able to... I think they will, yeah, collect wool from from Agnes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's cool. But, yeah, let's see if we can put in a, a trading um, market thing. Trade here. A trading post. Put that... I think mm, tricky. Yeah, let's put it there, uh, and we'll see if we can figure out how to make some money here. Because yeah, um, we are struggling a little bit with the economy here. Apart from that, stuff is going great. We have uh, tons of food and tons of fuel. Uh, but only for four months and that is probably because the population has grown to 59 right now high population growth that is awesome uh, let's employ someone here to collect some firewood uh, autumn is upon us so we need to stock up before winter uh, how's the food situation by the way so look at that we have bread now uh, that is great um, i'm pretty sure the people of Ashridge are happy with some bread in their bellies, not just berries. Cool. Uh, still trying to figure out why we don't have any hunting happening. Uh, like, the population isn't growing. 
I'm not sure really why that is happening. Uh, let's actually unemploy one of you. Hunting limit. I think it's... Yeah, we still have to just wait for the population to grow. That might be it. Not sure. Uh, but yeah, just having some livestock we can slaughter and and use would probably be a better solution in the future. So we should uh, uh, really try to get some more animals in here. Let's see if we can if I can just do uh, ox. No, I don't need oxes. Uh, doesn't look like I can trade other stuff. I kind of wish I could trade like cows, just normal cows, not oxes. Well, we'll wait and see. We'll learn as we go, guys. And that's kind of the fun thing here. You're experiencing this together with me, which is cool. Now we need to figure out how we can add or how the heavy plow stuff. Can we just add that like that? Ooh, cool. Okay, that's awesome. So now we're upgrading this to the heavy plow. And they will be working these fields here. Okay, that is awesome, guys. Stuff is going great. Approval is up. Population is up. And economy is down. Let's try and upgrade the industry a little bit here. Uh, or at least like the extraction. Uh, we can add a mining pit. And if I put that here... Again, most of these... No deposit in range. There is a deposit right there. Because I need to actually build it on top. So let's put that up there then. Um, we can use that to um, to get some clay, which we will need for further upgrades of specifically like the church. We need uh, roof tiles, and I believe we probably need that for these as well. Yeah. So for further upgrades, we need clay. So let's put that there. And as I've said, all of these areas here, all the stuff we put up, uh, we can move um, eventually. Because I think most of these will be farms. It's a rather boring area, so just yeah, completely covering that with the farms will probably be the best. So let's uh, put that. That was quick. Uh, and add a couple of people there to start uh, mining that. The trading post is up. Uh, and... For some reason, the regional wealth is also slowly going up. So something we're doing right. Um, so we can like trade some things. Let's uh, trade, export. Like look at the prices we have though. It's really bad. We can export a little bit. But let's just try here. Let's uh, export until we have 100, okay? I think that's how it works so now eventually like we will start to sell stone for merchants coming in here I think uh, and then we will get some money from that also the population is going really great we have 20 families now and we almost have to uh, upgrade more with more houses uh, so why don't we just already start doing that let's I think we're gonna have one road going there uh, just kind of following that and then we'll add two more houses along here I think and they will have a little bit bigger uh, again trying to have a little bit of a mix here I think that should be enough for I don't need all of that I just need okay do I have to take all of that I, I want them to follow the main road no look at that that's way too big um how can I make sure that I kind of only want to have this little section here? There we go. Two houses there. Perfect. All right. Uh, very cool. Uh, and I guess eventually we will move a little bit over here with more houses. No. Let's actually continue close to the church here. Uh, the idea I have for this area up here though, we have a tannery here, and if you don't know, a tannery usually smells pretty bad. Uh, but I think this up here we can start to do some industry. So whenever the blacksmith comes, we can put that up here. Oh, look at that! The manor has finally 
been cleared of the forest. We can take a proper look at it. That's a really cool house. I like that. Uh, so we can move this again soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I said, uh, building some uh, of, especially like we have the blacksmith and bloomery and things. Uh, but we don't have any iron yet. So I'm just going to check. We haven't sold any. Oh no, we probably need to put the person here to, to work the... <laughs> To work as a salesman uh, but yeah um, we don't have any iron and stuff so that's not the main priority but we have some clay now I think uh, that's probably in this one clay yeah so we should set up um, one of these not smith clay furnace yeah so we can put that up next to here that's kind of cool uh, and then we will have uh, some uh, clay bricks pretty soon also it's winter again so we've survived another year uh, which is really cool uh, exciting to see the city grow and see the people happy uh, we're almost out of space again this is insane how fast we're growing uh, we need to add more houses I think we already have to we have 22 families and 23 living spaces. Uh, should we have that here? No, let's let's, um, let's add a road along there, and then we'll add a couple of. Let's actually make a road that goes something like that as well, and we can connect that up to. That makes sense, I think. Uh, and then we can add some more houses here because we need more people rotate 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 four houses there yeah that should be enough for a little while um yeah cool it's February and stuff is going too fast. Uh, we just added these four houses now and we have 26 families now and 27 houses. So most of them have already been occupied. Uh, another thing I've done is I've uh, upgraded this plot right here because I want to turn this into a brewery. That is really important. And uh, I realized that these people here they were complaining that the tavern didn't have any beer supply. So let's turn you into a brewery. It says brewery already. A little bit of construction going on. Uh, and then uh, the tavern will uh, probably be more uh, popular, I, I guess. So that's going to be really cool. Um, but we need to add even more houses, I believe. Like, I can't even get on top of this. Um, but the population growth is so high which is really awesome and also the money is going up um, so we're doing something right so uh, I'm guessing more houses here along the road here right let's just add two more houses for now uh, can the thing is can I it would be kind of cool if I can I have one I can have two houses there. They're gonna be quite small, but let's do it. They don't need a backyard, most of them. Um, let's do that, and then looks like we can add a road. There, and then like that. Because these can be connected from the back. So that's really, really cool. Now, um, I'm kind of just waiting a little bit here, uh, but we are running quite low on food and that is pretty bad. So uh, let's pause the game. Uh, we have only two months left of food. So um, that's not good. Uh, let's trade. Uh, let's buy some food here. Uh, and what can we buy? Uh, Meat isn't too expensive, so import. What's full trade? Okay, let's import. We can't really, we can't even do two. 
Um, this is tricky. We we might struggle a little bit this winter. Uh, we should probably sell some more stuff. Let's put that to three. Yeah. And then, what can we sell? We can sell. We can sell leather. Let's sell some. We have a leather here somewhere. Route required. Oh man. Okay, so we can trade that. Of course. Uh, what else can we? We have flour. Uh, why don't anyone make bread out of the flour? That's weird. Uh, I'm adding another one there to make bread. We don't, oh, we, oh, yeah, we do have bread. We need more bread. Make more food, people. Uh, so, yeah, we need to set up a little bit here. We need to figure out exactly. Can we... We have a lot of firewood. Can we sell a little bit of firewood? Uh, construction. Commodities. No military food. Why? I probably can't sell that. No. Materials. Or maybe. Firewood. Yeah, let's uh, export. It's uh, it's not too expensive, but if we can put that down a little bit. Let's... Uh, yeah, that, that's easy to get as well. So let's put it down to 100. Or... 110 yeah okay and um yeah hopefully <laughs> stuff will work a little bit i'm really afraid people will start complaining soon why aren't we making more bread that is the big question we are making more bread now okay awesome great uh, and are we getting any vegetables? We're getting some vegetables. Okay, perfect. We're in March now. I think now stuff will start to grow when we will get vegetables and uh, hopefully uh, we will survive. I'm pretty sure we should survive now. Um, yeah. Let's hope. Uh, egg is definitely something we uh, should uh, invest in. I think like we can we can make one of these like a chicken coop. Yeah, so we can make the houses a chicken coop. That costs a little bit, but it's possible. Twenty five. Yeah, so we can do that. And uh, then we're using all our money on. Uh, what did we even buy? I can't remember. Meat, I think. Yeah. And we're eating all of it pretty pretty quick. Well, well. Uh, production focus. Yeah, we got that. Um, cool. So, uh, I think we're going to end today's episode on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Will we survive? I do believe we will. But, uh, yeah, we are struggling a little bit on the food front. But now the berries are coming in as well. Okay, that's great. We will survive another day. Well, guys, uh, that's it for today's episode of Manor Lords and Ash Ridge, this beautiful medieval settlement that we are building. And it's so cool to see how fast uh, this town here is evolving. It's uh, such a fun game. I'm enjoying it a lot myself. And I hope that you guys will enjoy it as well, together with me. And so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigo Man, and I'm out. <laughs>